Okay, so this is 69.2. Um, cyclist in front of us. Uh, so I just got uh, 69.2. Um, I've only seen uh, one other comment about it uh, so far. Rocco said that he didn't notice any huge changes. So we'll see what, uh, what I get on my test loop. It's really waiting for this cyclist. Right, it's gonna go by them. Interesting. We've got pedestrians up here. And it's waiting for them. Really waited until they were completely out of the road to go, but uh, that was that was good. Nice turn. Let's see if we're gonna play chicken up here with this guy. He's actually on the other side of America's Cup right now, so I don't know if he's coming straight across or. So my car should get over here. Let's see. Yes, it did. That was good. That was good. It's kind of deciding if it wants to stay over here, though, which is kind of interesting. It should be, it's going way over to the right here, but I let it do it. It should have stayed more to the, stayed more to the right, rather, rather than going to the left. Okay, so let's um, see if we stay to the right of the dotted line. Ah, no. Was it going to do it? So that is still hit or miss, apparently. Yeah, that's one where um, I would end up in the wrong lane if I if I didn't disengage. There was nobody in that lane, so I could have let it do it. But um, you know, just for the sake of the data, I um, intervened. So it's Sunday morning, um, off season, not too much traffic today. A lot of pedestrians out and about though. So I haven't heard um, anything about this release at all other than, like I said, Rocco, who um, who said that he didn't notice any huge changes. Uh, so I don't know what to expect here um, so far, other than the fact that uh, I had to disengage there um, on that mistake that it makes pretty often. Um, I thought my turns were really good, smooth, out of the neighborhood. Slowing a little too, I pushed it there. It, it slowed for those pedestrians after they were already by. Um, that's one thing that I've kind of noticed that my car has done um, is it waits until the pedestrians are completely out of the road even when they are clearly, you know, out of the way. And, all right, my car is stopping. I think it was waiting to see what that pedestrian was gonna do. He was just walking his dog on the sidewalk. He wasn't, he wasn't gonna cross the street and my car was waiting. Okay, interesting. Oh, that said changing lanes uh, for blockage which is, I guess, for this truck. That, I don't know if I've seen that before. That's, that's good. Um, if, if that's something new, I, I like it. I, 
I'm feeling that it's um, being pretty hesitant around the, I'm what I'm assuming are the pedestrians. Um, back there, it was, it was kind of, oh, that's wrong. Yeah, that was wrong. I don't know why it wanted to switch lanes there. Here it sometimes messes up and goes over there, but that was good. It needs to be over a little. I don't know why it's centering in the road. This is incorrect. Like it wants to go around these cars that are stopped. And that is not right since this is where cars are parallel parked. It's not a driving lane. So that was not that great. The mistakes that it's making are silly, I will say. Like, I feel like if there were no pedestrians or cars, it would, it would be fine. Like if there was no traffic and no people walking around, it wouldn't wouldn't do the, the the mistakes that it's made so far. But I don't know. We'll see. See how we do up ahead. Follow me. So it's stopping for no reason here. I think because of these because of this woman in the road. She was not um, in the cross. She was in a crosswalk, but just walking in the road, going straight, not crossing the street. And my car was like trying to figure out what she was doing. So that was, again, like really trying to figure out what pedestrians are doing and uh, not always good at it. Right, let's find Pope. It's not, I've got cars behind me, so, and it was like taking way too long. I mean, it was clear, Pope was there, you know, it could, I, I think it could see it. I don't know why it was so uh, weird about making the turn. Yeah, this is again where I just, why does it want to center when it has the space? It should just drive up, straight up the street. It should not be going back and forth like this on Pope. And it didn't, I feel like it didn't used to be that bad on Pope, but I don't know. I could be wrong. Okay. Ah. So that was bad. There was a car coming and I like inched out to where he was like, okay, I guess you're coming now. And he stopped for me, but my car should not have gone. I don't know. Oh, I think I had the wrong location in. Uh, okay. Not so great so far, I gotta say. Like that creeping like it, it crept out just a little bit too far to where it was just going to go and there was somebody coming. So, <sighs> weird. Stopping too far back. I was like out, I was kind of blocking that road. Um, for no reason and there was a car trying to come out and go straight across so I pushed it forward yeah so I guess I'm not too um, hopeful about Washington Square up here um, we'll see my drive so far has just been kind of not that great
got some a couple of two-way stops up here that it has not always done the best job deciding where to stop and um, I think one of them it, it creeps out into the middle of the intersection because it's trying to see I don't I don't know why it can't see because I can see but I don't know what it's what it's uh, what it's looking for okay so we're stopping where this is like kind of this is really too slow like yeah my car should have taken its turn this is the one where the creep line is like just creeping out into the middle of the road so I just pushed it there because I have cars behind me um, it shouldn't it shouldn't do that it's consistently like can't see something there I guess and then the creep line goes out into the middle of the intersection but it didn't used to do that there so I don't know um, I don't know what it's having trouble with at, suddenly at that intersection because it didn't used to do that traffic here this morning. Newport has the highest percentage of preserved colonials in the United States. Um, it's a really cool um, thing about my town. Um, and that one back there has needed um, to be renovated for as long as I've lived here. And it's because um, it was kind of um, not being taken care of properly and um, someone is finally doing it the reason that Newport has so many colonial homes still intact is um, the town was blockaded by the I'm pushing forward here because we're too far back from this car yeah um, the, the British blockaded Newport Harbor during the um, American uh, Revolution and Newport had been a very important nope couldn't get it had been a very important port um, and it was like part of the whole you know oh man bad it is just struggling. I have a car behind me, so I'm not going to let it dilly-dally too much here since I've been... No. Oh. oh my gosh. I'm like mad at, mad at my car right now. So annoying. Like what is the problem there? Um, anyways. Uh, so... Because of that blockade, the economy in, uh, like everybody basically left Newport because, you know, the, the economy was destroyed. I'm pushing it this whole way, pushing it. Still doesn't want to go. It just doesn't want to go anymore at that spot. Uh, so, you guys, that was kind of a frustrating drive for me. Um, maybe I'll go around and do it again, see if I get it better the second time.